So if this is your dream right now, there's some short goals you have to hit and then you could actually start the new life that you've always dreamt about. I created this video because I get loads of questions about moving to Dubai, having a company here, what it's like working, what it's like living here, what is the expenses, all these things. So in this video, I will go over seven of the most answered questions I got from people questioning me about what it's like living in Dubai. So the number one thing, and I hear this all the time, don't you have to be a millionaire to live in Dubai? And I must say that things are expensive. There's a lot of things that are expensive, but as in any country and city in the world, you can always live below your means and you could stop spending unnecessary amounts of money on things that don't matter to you. What I would say is that you should definitely not be a millionaire to move to Dubai, but it's really good to have saved up some money before moving to make sure that unexpected costs will be covered and you wouldn't have to worry about it. The second thing is how much is rent in Dubai? What I can say about this is that you can actually get an apartment a nice apartment maybe 20 30 minutes from the downtown city at anywhere between one to two thousand dollars a month and this is not more expensive than any capital city in the world copenhagen london whatever this is actually really cheap and what's also really good is that you can get a cheap car in dubai gas is really cheap as well it's only around one dollar per liter and then you can easily travel and enjoy life in dubai while living cheaply the third thing I get asked all the time is, is it really 0% taxes in Dubai? And I can just say, yes, it is. There's two ways that you could possibly be taxed in Dubai. And that is if you have a mainland company, which just means that you run uh, operations in Dubai. So let's say you have an online business, you would have what is called a free zone company. And the tax rate of a free zone company is 0%. What is also important to be said is that all salary taxes is also 0%. There's complete nothing. Let's say I go out, I close the deal, it's 2000 dollars a month that's two thousand dollars directly into my pockets i can go spend that on having fun going out dinner new shoes whatever i want and that is the greatest thing about dubai the fourth question i get asked all the time about dubai is that how expensive is it actually setting up a company in dubai and this is one of the more expensive things in relation to some of the other costs you have to moving. Setting up a company to buy can cost you anywhere from eight to twelve thousand dollars. This is a one-time cost, but that's a lot of money. So that means before moving to Dubai, as I mentioned earlier, it's really important to save some money. The fifth question I can ask is how much should I save before moving? So this is for the company cost, this is for all the force of being a millionaire in Dubai. And what I would suggest to you is that I would suggest you to have at least twenty thousand dollars saved. And I know that this might sound like a sane amount, and I understand that, but what you should think is that, let's say you want to move in one to two years, then it's pretty realistic to save up $20,000 if you live below your means and you have a okay paying job. And the thing that the $20,000 are going to give you, they're going to make sure that you don't have to worry, you can set up your company, you can get your apartment. That's what I would suggest for you, but it could also be done for less. This is one of the more interesting questions is, what is the ideal amount of money I should make before moving to Dubai. Let's say right now you're living in a country that you're paying anywhere between 30 to 50% in taxes. This means that every month, let's say you make $5,000, then let's say 40% of that goes directly to your taxes. This means you'll be left off with $3,000 to spend. So what you have to consider is that when you live in a country where there's 0% tax, if you make the same amount of money, you make, let's say $5,000 a month, then I would believe that you could move to Dubai, have the same or higher living standard while also making money with 0% tax. I would say the sweet spot is $5,000 because then you are able to live a good life. You're going to have a nice apartment. You can eat out, you can eat good food. You can have a gym membership or whatever you want because you have zero percent in taxes because maybe you would not even be able to get that where you live right now with four thousand dollars a month but here in Dubai you can actually get that because it's zero percent taxes so you have a lot more money to spend and what I usually say here is that in Dubai the regular living cost is around 1.5 times the amount of money you would spend in like any other Western country so let's say you're making this five thousand dollars let's say you're paying 40 percent taxes then you actually have less than one third of your money left after taxes in Dubai you'll have the same $5,000 left. And even though things are 1.5 times higher costs, you'll still be able to purchase more. So your purchase power is actually more from just moving from one place to another. And this is actually my most important tip is that let's say you have a transferable income, then I would highly suggest you to move to Dubai as long as you have the 20K saved up and you have a monthly income of 
$5,000 or more. The last thing is a more broad topic, but I still want to bring this up because I hear a lot of people say, oh, I would love to move to Dubai, I'm going to do it, but they're actually not going to do it. So what is it like moving from your home country where you've always lived? So just from my experience so far, it's tough because you don't get to see your family, you don't get to see your friends and you miss them a lot. But the thing is that there's so many new things happening when moving to a new country. So there's so many things that you have to relate to. So this just means that you're really busy. And this also means that you won't be staying at home and feeling bad and missing your family and friends because there's so much new stuff happening. It can feel really overwhelming to move to a new country because there's so many variable factors that can change your life and that you're not completely sure about what you're going to do about. And this is why it's so great to move from your home country because you get so many learnings and life becomes tough for a short period. And this is where you can really move and develop your personal self. You can develop a mental that says that when things get tough and when there's a lot of practical stuff to do because if you want to become a successful entrepreneur there's going to be a lot of practical stuff you have to do so if you want to be successful then it's really good to have these times in life where things are tough you have to go through a lot of paperwork a lot of practical stuff that just needs to get done and you learn this by moving to a new country because there's a lot of stuff you have to get done so i hope this video clarified a bit to you what is like moving to dubai what is the cost of living in dubai and how much money you should be making before a life in Dubai could actually be reality and you should definitely believe in yourself and I encourage you to say to yourself that it's closer than you think. 5k dollars a month is definitely reachable if you have an online business and saving 20k dollars let's say in a span of one to two years is definitely possible as well. So if this is your dream right now there's some short goals you have to hit and then you could actually start the new life that you've always dreamt about. This was the video for today. Have a nice day.